Jude Roth, girls state championship OAC. We talked a couple weeks ago at Jackson. Did it, did it meet the benchmark? First off, over 130 girls registered. I'm impressed. Did it meet your benchmark? Did it meet the, the standard? Yes, it did. Um, we were excited about this for a while. And uh, to see how that many girls come here for the first time event, that's, that's, that's incredible. It's gonna really um, take off here in the years to come. I looked at uh, girls' champion, women's championship yesterday, college championship with the teams across the country, 10 teams. I'm saying it's gonna be 50 teams in the next five to 10 years. I'd say you're probably right. It's gonna, it's exploding though. Yeah. You guys did something that, even if you look at Athena Nationals they had here, they had like 100 girls. You guys did something that a lot of events, it's hard to do a startup, man. Oh yeah, yeah, the first time we any event, it's Texas difficult to get it going Lions. and get the word out. Um, but yeah. it, it, it got off and going, so uh, and I'm sure it's gonna get even bigger and better the next, like you said, the next five, 10 years. You look at the need for it and, and you know how it's exploding. Obviously, we talked about how Amarillis winning a gold medal. That hurt, that didn't hurt things, right? right. It really helped right. it along. But um, the event here with uh, over 450 kids at one district out of that, that was incredible. I couldn't believe that with, with Jackson and all the other districts all levels are up to. What do you got to do to get the girls level up to the boys level? And how do you create opportunity like you guys do for everything? Like you, you do scholarships, you give back to so many communities. How do you do that with girls wrestling? How do you build it to where you want it to be? Well, we had the, we had the model set with the boys already, so it's just a matter of following that. And it takes, it, no matter what you do, it's gonna take some time, but the girls will get there, they definitely will get there. There are scholarships, there's also uh, grant money that we give out for different programs, and that's something that we can do for a startup of a girls program somewhere. So there's all kinds of things that can be done. Coming down here, you travel all around the state. Um, what's the furthest one you've traveled to, New Lexington, or was this the furthest? Uh, this year, this would be the furthest, yes. Will it continue to, I mean, you guys are always, the wheels are always spinning when I talk to you or Jared, it's incredible. Will we continue to see you guys expand into other avenues? Youth wrestling obviously is exploding. Will we continue to see this organization grow, not only with girls, but with boys as well? Uh, no, definitely. Uh, we have the junior high boys uh, dual meet uh, state championships. We're gonna do grade school next year. So that's one thing we're going to get started. And, uh, you know, there's always something going. You know, your, your wheels are turning, trying to think of what you can do better. What does, a, what does a wrestling community want? So through surveys and things like that, this is how we've been able to create different events. Are you having fun? <laughs> I'm loving it. Enjoying it. Living the dream. All right, man. I got to go video some grade school girls wrestling. You got anything else for me? No, oh, thanks, Dad. You did a great job. I'm, I'm just glad to be here and be able to talk to you. Thanks for the time. Safe travels home, too.